Hey guys, Shea Bear 1000 here. Gonna do a little vlogging with you today. Uh, yesterday, I did some vlogging. I filmed, uh, I had seven, I had seven clips. Five of them was corrupt or damaged and I, I run a repair tool on it. It just, I don't know what the hell happened. Uh, it put them in MOV, which shouldn't really be a problem, but, so I tried all kinds of stuff. So anyway, I was working on a, uh, on a chainsaw yesterday but I'm gonna to try to right now get something else running today I've got all my stuff laid out the stuff I'm gonna need my magnifier uh, my impact there's some of the screwdrivers I'm gonna need some pliers my other light a little light for looking down inside uh, the cylinder got a couple rags there of course my glasses Spark plug, ratchet. I've got more tools over there. Uh, but first, first, what I'm going to do is I'm going to see what all's in this box. I know this paper says missing parts and broken, so I don't know. But we're going to take this stuff out and see what's in it. I think it is for that weed eater. It's a weed eater, and it's also got the pole saw attachment to it. But I think this stuff is for that because. I know these things they have what they called a jump start on them uh, you can stick a like one of these in there and start it um, like if if you had to if it didn't want to start or something it's a four stroke engine so I'm gonna go ahead and pull this stuff out of here so let's get here like I said yesterday I forget what we even talked about but still trying to get used to this camera I should be using monkeys until I get used to this one uh, let's see I know I'm pretty sure this is the tank for that I know this is the starter the recoil starter I know that's what this is so I have another one that came off of the line. This is definitely for it. This is pretty cool. I don't know what it's for, but if it works, I'm going to try to use it for something. Anyway, this is for that. I'm not sure where it goes. There's the filter. Looks like we got an extra rope okay so here we do have the carburetor that's definitely the carburetor for it okay so it's kind of wanted to see what was in this box we got a bunch of little screws down in here but it doesn't have a shroud with it so I'm probably not going to mess with that one um, for the simple fact that I've got the shroud system but I really don't want to use mine on it at the second because I, I don't know where everything is to it that's why but I will if we can get it to run I don't know what the issue is with it I don't know why it was torn down like this it may have been an issue with the same issue that the one I had, which was my niece's. I did a I did a video on it. There is a video on it on YouTube. Um that yeah, let's see. That goes in there. That uh where I, where I, I stripped it down and I found out that the cylinder wall was scored. So uh I'm not sure if that's what's going on with this one or not. I'll have to pull the plug out of it and see if I can see down in there if it's scored I'm not even going to mess with it but if it looks okay there could be another reason why it was torn down now I can spin it over and here I'll bring it up here now I've got part of the shroud well I've got the whole everything that will fit right on here but it feels like it's got good compression 
and it's not locked up it does have oil in it so I don't know you know I may pull the plug out and look down inside there and see if I can see what's going on inside that cylinder and then we'll know see these carburetors set sideways on here then we'll know if this is worth checking out I'm not sure why again why they would have uh, took it apart I don't know if they had uh, carburetor issues uh, the lines look like they're okay I don't feel anything weird like you know knocking like usually if these things throw a rod you can take that and spin it back and forth and you can listen in there and see I don't hear any knocking um, I don't know it's just hard to say why they would have took it apart uh, okay so but today I'm going to be vlogging with you off and on I've got another uh, pole saw back there behind me it's long it does not come apart like this one does so I'm going to have to set it up here well I'll just get it to show you still recording little gun shy now I'm thinking it was an issue with the card but I don't know so I got this and I'm not sure what it is I'll show it to you here in just a second Tanka? Tanaka? 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 I've never even heard of that brand T-A-N-A-K-A -A -A. TPS 2510 made in Japan Fabrique a Japan so yeah it was made in Japan uh, so I'm not sure what the CC's is on it but yeah you know I mean So, I mean, it doesn't come apart, but if it runs good, we may be able to make a buck on it. It's Pro Force. Okay. Now, this I was looking, as you can see, the primer bulb is not in there. So, let's give this a yank. Make sure it ain't locked up. No, it's not locked up, and it has good compression. So, we're going to try to change this primer bulb, and I'm going to see if I've, see if I got one like that. Uh, I'm pretty sure I do. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and start taking this apart. And I'll be back to talk with you guys in a minute. I want to check, make sure this is recording it did record two clips my first two clips and then the next five it didn't I don't know I don't know what happened it did it wasn't saying anything was wrong up here so I don't know um, So, looks like some kids walking down the street. Why ain't they in school? Anyhow, I'll be back with you guys in a second. Let me go ahead and try to get this get this off here and see what I'm see what I'm going to do about that farmer bulb. This may run. I don't know, uh, but we're going to find out together. All right, stick with me, guys. Hey right, guys, so I got. I got the primer bulb put in. I had to take one out of that chainsaw I was working on yesterday because I don't have... I got two that are similar, but they take three lines. This one takes two. So I got it in there, pumped it about six times, and started pumping fuel up. Um, it feels like it's got good compression. I haven't tried to start it yet, but we're going to start it right now. I did dump to prime it as well. I did pour a little bit of... Uh, fuel down in where uh, down in the spark plug hole on the top of the cylinder uh, 
because I pulled the plug out to check it for spark. It has plenty of spark, so we should be good. So let's give it a shot. Let me get you down here where you guys can see something. So let's see what we got going on here. I don't have the air cleaner on yet. I didn't put much gas in this thing, but let's try it out here. That runs pretty good. Sounds like it's idling a little high. Let me get a screwdriver. So we got that one running. So that'll make us a couple bucks. Like I said, I had you guys out here with me filming yesterday all day. We were working on this one here and that one there. This one here has got a scored cylinder and this is what they had jammed up in here. See that? It's medical cloth or whatever you call it, gauze, bandaging. They had that jammed up in there for the damn For the air cleaner um, but it's got a scored cylinder but it's I don't it should I had it running but it wasn't running well so I thought maybe it was in the carburetor and I put that carburetor on my chainsaw that I know runs and it fired right up and run good so I put it back on here nothing so while my carburetor was still off I put my carburetor on here nothing it's got plenty of spark. It feels like it's got good compression. Uh, well, maybe, well, no, I guess it don't. When you're pulling it, it felt like it. 
This one here, same thing, nothing. Tried my carburetor, nothing. Okay, so uh, this here is supposed to run, but it says on it, it says uh, uh, governor locked up. Uh, runs full throttle, runs at full throttle. So that shouldn't be a big deal there. So I'm going to get my mess cleaned up here on the table. Oh, I was listening to some music. I'm going to get this cleaned up and wiped down and get ready to go uh, see what we're going to work on next. All right. Um, I got something in the mail today from Ben. I haven't looked at it yet, but I will look at it. Uh, so I'm going to look at that right now. I'm going to get this cleaned off. I'll be back with you guys in a second. Okay, so I got the second pole, pole saw up here. You guys see that right there? Look at that, damn it. Somebody broke a bolt off there. Um, well, maybe not. I don't, well, this don't, it doesn't go clear through, so maybe it's not a broken bolt. I'll have to look at my other one because I know it doesn't have any broken bolts in it. But we're going to check this thing for spark. I pulled the plug out of it. We're going to check it for spark. Let's see if I can guys up here and pull on this without oh see that let me uh get you zoomed in here a little bit on that I don't know if you guys can see that or not Yeah, it's got a hell of a spark there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look down inside the cylinder here and see if if I can see if it scored or not. Can't really can't really see down in there. can't tell but I'm gonna go ahead and throw this together at least to see if I can get it to fire and if I can then I'll know it's going to run right so there we go and then I'll know it's going to like I said this is not really how to today guys because everything I'm doing you guys pretty much see me do in other videos but what it's I'm just trying to do a little vlogging um, but yeah that uh, boy you would think that would have a hole in it there where that it looks like it's supposed to bolt on there but apparently it don't so uh, let me get some more parts out here and uh, let's see if we can't throw this thing together and get it to make some noise that'd be nice if it did because this one does not have the weed eater attachment to it. It's just got the pole saw attachment. I've got the weed eater attachment. So if it runs good, it's Troy built. So if it runs good, then we can get a little more money out of it. So, all right, guys, I'll be back with you in a second. Give me a minute to get my bearings here. All right, guys, we're getting it together here. I just got to finish bolting the carburetor on, put this piece on. Uh, this is my carburetor. I was using it to find out which uh, which one of the the fuel lines went where. So I think I've got it. I put some gas in it. So I'm gonna pump this primer bulb here and see if any fuel comes up through it. I don't know if I've got them right yet or not. says to pump it 10 times but 
I don't. I may not have them on the right on the right ones, but see, I'm not seeing any fuel come up in there at all. Let's see. We've got. Okay, so I think I've got to switch at least two lines. There's one here, one in the back. I don't, I'm not sure if that, yeah, that seems to be right. There we go. Now we're getting fuel up in there. See that? All right. Now, let's go ahead. I don't know if I can get you guys up here to see this or not. Yeah, here's where we're working now. Okay, so we got a little hose here. It goes in here. Like I said, not, not really how to, but... Uh, just kind of hanging out with you guys today. Whoa. Event was coming out of there. There we go. PVC vent. There we go. All right. Now we're getting somewhere, I think. So I'll just keep you guys rolling because we're about ready to see if this this thing will start up now Usually I'll try to start them. I don't know what was tore apart. Usually I'll try to start them before I get it all back together, but <coughs> in this case It seemed to be all complete So wait a minute No, I know what I did. This is the carburetor that came off of I'm using my carburetor because I know it was good when I took it off the other engine, it just the other engine had a blown engine in it. So, Get this up here, make sure that throttle's connected. Yep, this thing may run, but why would they have tore it apart? I don't understand that. Oh no. Battery's dead. No, it wasn't. I hit the button. Sorry. But yeah, I just I don't real I don't understand why they would have taken it apart. I think my battery is going dead. All right. That's the first time it's ever died on me. I've only charged that thing one time. I'm going to put a little bit of a longer screw on this one because I think, yeah, I've seen the threads that looked stripped. So, now if I remember right, I think there's supposed to be a cover for the side on the muffler side. Now, if there is, I'm sure I've got it. I just don't know where. I think I may know where it is. Alright. Alright, yep, it's, it's squirting fuel out. Let's go see if we can get this thing to run. Like I said, I don't know why they took it apart if it does run. Okay, I'll take this out here. Get you set down here. All right, we've already primed it. There's no choke on this thing. That's because it don't have one. All right. Uh, 
what they want you to do is they want you to push this 10 times. I think it is. Uh, let me start a thing right here. Uh, 10 times. You push this 10 times, which we've already done that. We know there's fuel up in here. We know there's fuel in the carburetor. Squeeze the throttle wide open. Pull this five times. And do it again. It's just not a... See, now it's not squirting any, any fuel. Alright. This is a runner, but... some reason okay when you put it on its side it's squirting fuel like it should see it's squirting it like it's that way Like I said, squirting fuel on the side, and up here it's just kind of its not really doing a whole lot. So, I'm, I'm wondering if there's something wrong with the... Well, we know it runs. I'm gonna take it in here, find out what's going on, why it's not getting, why it's not really pumping fuel. See, it's kinda, I don't know. Let's take it in, we're gonna find out what's going on with it. Okay guys, so I did get the Troy built running. It runs okay. Um, I may check the plug. It just doesn't sound doesn't sound like it's getting the revs. It may need carburetor cleaned or something, but it does run, and the engine sounds really good. That's a four-stroke there, so that's pretty cool. And you guys seen we got that one running, and the guy stopped by, and he brought me a blower. So that'll be our next project. Will be that blower. Um, as soon as I get all this stuff cleaned off of my bench. We're going to get that running. So, it's about, I don't even know what time it is. Um, it's about a quarter till four. So, I'm going to go ahead and cut this vlog right here. And uh, I'll have more videos over the weekend. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and start supper for Monkey. Because I think she said she might be home around five, maybe a little sooner. So, I'm going to get on that. I want to say thanks for watching, guys. Remember, Shea Bear, the myth, the man, legend. I'm gone for now. Bye-bye. Y'all take care.